You've got that smoker and you've learned how to smoke beef, pork, and chicken? Now what? Master this next recipe and you too can become the barbecue hero. Who knew the cream cheese doesn't melt away on your smoker? So today we're smoking cream cheese four different ways. Now the basic recipe calls for cream cheese covered with dry rub on top and all four sides and then it's smoked for at least two hours. Here I've unwrapped four eight ounce boxes of cream cheese. You want to score the top of the cream cheese in a diamond pattern. Now you don't have to do this part, but this is where you get all those important style points. You do want style points, don't you? They say that we eat with our eyes, so maybe this part's not really optional at all. On the first two, I'm using white truffle oil as my binder, and white truffle oil is good stuff. The third's getting Dijon mustard as the binder and the fourth is not getting any binder at all. The rubs that I'm using, number one's gonna get War Pig Barbecue Ham Grenade. With a name like that, you know that's good too. Number two, Cosmos Q Cow Cover Hot. Number three, McCormick's Roasted Garlic and Herb. And number four, we got McCormick's Brown Sugar and Bourbon. Now we're gonna sweeten it up a little bit by sprinkling on some turbinado sugar. We're gonna put this on all of them. Now they're ready to go into the smoker. I'm gonna smoke them for two and a half hours at 215 degrees Fahrenheit. Look how great these look. They're ready to eat just like this. But wait, there's more. You can add toppings. Now I've got crushed pineapple that's been drained and it's got chopped jalapenos that I've removed the seeds in the core. I'm gonna put this on number one. Number two is just getting the apple jelly straight out of the jar. Number three, I'm trying out some raspberry chipotle marinade. Number four is gonna be plain, just like it is, but be sure and put that on a cracker, dude. And now, a warning. I was able to taste that Dijon mustard, and if you go that route, it's not a subtle taste. I think my absolute favorite had to be the one with topped with the pineapple and jalapenos. And of course, you can use your favorite rub. You can even make it in the oven, but that's not gonna be quite as good. But you can have it your way. Since you got out the cream cheese, watch this next video on how to make Pineapple jalapeno dip. You're gonna love this recipe. <laughs>